Yo, what's up gamers? KFD Zero here with another Transformers review video. Uh, following on with the Jin Bao Devastator, this time we have Long Haul, or oh, okay, a dump truck has some um, generation toys in Jin Bao call it. So, um, again, um, screw him. Um, again, this is, uh, these were bought from my um, brother. I've already got a copy of this myself and he wanted a Devastator. Um, and I've also got the original Generation Toys, the Jim Bao one being an upscaled version, um, KO version of the Generation Toys third party. Um, so for those that want to see the previous reviews for Scrapper and Mixmaster, they'll be in the um, links will be in the description. Um, and after this is all over, obviously I'll do a, um, a full Devastator review, and also I will do a comparison with um, or a picture of all the all the members and whatnot. Anyway, so starting off, we'll have a look at um, at Long Haul. So that's the pull that off. I want to have it now. Let's put these bits and pieces on first so that these are come separate and they go here. No, it goes in like that. There you go, put it in the wrong spot, it goes here. That goes there, and you can see that shape of that, and that fits in right in there. And it goes there, you go. In. So, long haul, it's a dump truck. It's a bit sparse if you look at it from the top view. Um, rolls around. Okay, so storing the gun. So, you need first off, you that up. Um, you can or you don't need to pull this around. Um, it might need to go a little bit like that, I guess. And the tabs, you'll see the tabs on here and on the other side go into that there. So what you do is you just open this up a little bit and that just goes in like so. Clip that in on that side. Squeeze the leg back together. And there it is all done. I need to then move that back down a little bit. And that kind of locks it so it's a bit more stable once it gets inside there. Um, and that's the storage, it's like an exhaust pipe. And you can store this as well. As you saw, it comes in, it makes it less sparse up on top. So it goes in there. Um, you flip this out, you can leave it like that and have it straight like this, or you can flip this out like that. I like flipping that out and putting these down. So it looks a bit more compact. It's like he's carrying some rubbish or whatever. Nice and compacted like that. So, so detailed vehicle. It's very nicely detailed. Uh, as you can see, yeah, okay, better there. Um, flappy bits. You'll see the wire later on. Um, they're all bit um, of a flexible plastic because you need it for the transformation and devastator mode. Um, mode it's not too bad at all it rolls around pretty well the only thing I must say I don't like is I wish that this would um, there's a, another lock of some sort in here to stop it from doing this because that is very easy to do as you can see that is very easy to move around and as you're playing around and sometimes it just you know, moves like that so I wish there was something else that tabs that in place or something um, and that is it for vehicle mode. Now, for some comparisons. Here he is with the original generation toys. Um, you can see, upscale version. A lot bigger. Here he is with Tiger Tracks. Here he is with MP44. KO MP44. There you go. There he is. Side view. Let's see how this stacks up with MP44 there. Okay. Now, on to the transformation. So, 
first thing you do is you pull this off and take out the gun. I forgot to mention any what is um you do sort of push that back in. It's fairly loose that. Okay, so dump truck. So the first thing you do is I'll pull the tab this out. There's a tab on the top here. See the tab there, just pop that off and pop the other side off as well. Um, and then there's a there's a tab in here, you can see that hooks in. So you just pop that out and fold that out of the way. Same on this side, rinse and repeat, pop that out and fold that out of the way. Next, um, I normally just fold these up just to give me some clearance. Next thing you do is go down here and pull the arms out. So just give it a tug. It's quite tight for me. Yep, there we go. Pops out like that. And then you just rotate this whole piece down. Done. Um, I'll probably, I'll get on the arms later. Let's get on the legs next. So just pop that out like that. From here, I would just rotate this whole joint down. Um, repeat for the other side. Okay, and here, what you can do is you flip this around, and for this one, you fold that in, and then rotate that around, put that in like so. Once that's done, you can then fold those in like that. So it is double jointed, so you can fold it. There's another joint in there, um, but that doesn't really do much. I don't think you can actually get it in like that. So you know what? Yep. Rephrase that. So you do do that. You fold that in and you fold it in again. And that goes in there. So this here, you just open this up, put the leg out, again, leg out, um, rotate this around, rotate this around, and legs are done. Okay, now onto the arms. Now, with the arms, you'll notice that there's two pins there, so if this rolls up, you'll see that there's actually um, two pin holes on this here as well. Try and rotate out, out of the way. But you can see one of them there. Let's rotate this out of the way and see if you can see it. Not, not going to see the second pin hole from there. Just so anyway, you just push that in and that locks into place. Bend that down. Um, just flip that out like so, turn that around, spin this around like so, and then fold this down. Finally, open the wheel up, bring it around, put it back like that, so that spins it backwards. There's a tab in there that goes in here, so just gonna tab that in. I'll just pop the shoulder off at the moment. So spin a bit. Definitely a lot harder to go in than I remembered it. So here we go. There you go. Dip. Get that shoulder back in. Okay. No. Get the shoulder back in. Okay. Second arm. So again, pull that out, bend it up. Rotate the 
hand around, rotate this around, and then fold that back, flip that around the other way. Okay, and shoulder joint wise, that there, Just pop that in, and that's popped in. Finally, um, the back you can do like that, or you can sort of have it down like that, whatever, whatever works for you, I guess. I normally just leave it like this because this kind of just sits there as well, unless you want to do it like this, I guess, unless you want to do that, have that there, yet again, do whatever you want, I normally have it. I normally just have it like that. Um, finally, this opens up. That locks in place, turn around, close this again. That's why this is a bit flexible because although this doesn't touch it, but it can. And you just don't want this to break because that's in the way. And there he is. Looking pretty good. I do like him. Something that the Jinbao has done on top of, over the Generation Toys for this one. Um, it's almost the same, but something that they have done is they've added a little handle on the back of this so it can turn it into like a shieldish gun thing. So if you rotate it around or something like that, say, you can actually have him hold onto this. So it becomes like a shield or a gun or something like that. So, So you can do that thing you can do and the weapon itself so you pop that out clean that back down close it back up again and this thing you can rotate if that's the yeah, thing you can do side magazine if you think that's a cool thing or not you can do that you can have it down whatever there he is there now Movement wise, he can go the full 360. That can come up and down. The elbow bends 90 degrees. He had the wrist rotation, which you saw. You get the wrist rotation, um, waist swivel. This can pop up if you want. Um, not that it was made for that. Get the legs to move, that's a very tight ratchet joint sounds very brittle but it is it's not too bad but they need it because that's part of the joint for devastator so um, that's a reason why it's really tight same most of these joints are fairly tight because it's um, the same joint used for devastator which obviously holds a lot more weight than this um, yeah so same issue of my one as well so at least they're consistent this here is a bit floppy um, whereas this one here holds it well again a little bit floppy So, there he is, um, knee, full 90 degrees, um, now, and the head's on a ball joint. Obviously the light piping is a little bit better because, you know, you don't have this thing covering it. Um, it is a lot better um, than the others, it's a bit more open. Something that they have done a lot better than the original generation toys is that shoulder joint. Um, that joint is, is on very secure. Whereas on the Generation Toys one, it's not as secure. So I'll do some um, comparisons. Okay, four comparisons. Original Generation Toys. This is definitely bigger. MP Bulljack. Like this, which is a height comparison. MP Bulljack. The official MP44 Prime. And again, like I said in the other reviews, uh, the oversized KO Jimbao version here is a little bit big as a Constructicon bot, um, but works well for Devastator. So obviously, if you put back the Generation Toys version over here, 
tends to scale better with um, with the MPs as a bot. Now, something that they've um, a few other things they've done well. Uh, I think I've already pointed out the shoulder joint is um, done well. This part here, they um, they do allow you to fold it all the way back, whereas uh, the original generation toys is actually stuck here. Um, something else that they've done as well is they've allowed you to lift this up. I don't know what for. It actually doesn't form part of anything, but um, this can come all the way up, and it doesn't actually get in the way of anything else. Um, whereas the original here. It does lift up, but it does get stuck. And I'll, you know, don't want to force that anymore because it will break. This joint here as well, that's stuck there. It's, um, there's something here, it doesn't go any further back than this. So you can't have it all the way back like the oversized chin bow one can. Okay, so now transformation into devastator mode. So you virtually get it, um, get it back to bits of the vehicle mode again. So first thing you do, get the head. Turn that around, back inside, like that, put this back up for now. Later on he will open up with the transfer for the um, dead stator mode. Now you need to get the hands back in, so first things first, let's flip these things back out like so. Oh, look at my line, very tight to get in. Okay, in. Transform mine a few times and I haven't broken mine yet, but still. Always feels ordinary when you do that. Okay, so next. Um, hands are always the hardest part to transform, I found, because it is a bit confusing. So to get it back into the vehicle mode, uh, you do have to find that this part here, obviously, if you look here, with that shoulder plate up, it's not going to collapse in because this has to collapse in. So when you rotate this around, it only goes in one way. So obviously this way, it's not going to go in. Um, all the way around is not going to really work. So it can only really work this way. So this way doesn't work either. It, it only really goes in one way. So, and that's where that joint is there. So let's straighten that up first. So that goes like that. Now the, the weird thing about this transformation is that it actually bends downwards. That's the facing of the arm when it goes in vehicle mode. You might not think it is going to hold on that, what's all that doing? But that's where you kind of have to rotate this around and bring that in. And then this goes, oops, and this sort of straightens back up like that. So as you can see, it's arm space down, bring that back up, and then that's in the that's the vehicle mode. So and that and you pretty much do the same thing for Devastator. You do that and you push that back in, and that's got a more solid lock. The Generation Toys again doesn't quite lock properly. Um, I might actually show you, um, and then this you'll find that there's a tab in there, and that arm just tabs in into that there that slot. There you go. As I was saying, I'll show you the generation toys because I've already forgotten to show you the generation toys on the shoulder. Um, that shoulder plate, you can see that shoulder plate there. It's got the same, if you can see, and you can't see the, the gap in it, but there is. If you can do this, you can see that there is a hole there that actually goes into that joint, but it's, it doesn't really secure very well. Like That's the best it can do. Yes, it's kind of on, but it comes off so easily because it doesn't really go all the way in. Um, Again, the Jin Bao one just does that a little bit better. Anyway, back to this arm again. So we've worked with this forward. So again, um, straighten the arm, pop it off the joint. So you pop that out. Oops, that, turn that. Turn this here. Um, have the arm facing downwards. What we do? We rotate this around. So, have the arm facing downwards, 
turn turn this around it goes and then you can just push that whole thing in and push it in like that to hear it clip and then you should be able to clip that there was a tab in there like the other arm tab it in so now I believe for Devastator this goes this way and that goes around does it? no it's like that sorry it's like this that okay okay so you need to then flip these bits here out so that's why this bit is flexible it's so that you can get it out of the way and get your finger in here and flip that piece out now and you can go and flip this side here out as well see that just bends out of the way and there you go okay so we get to this section here now the lower part you rotate this around like so and then up okay so pull that out open this here as well um, now you want to pull this up and that frees up this leg joint here so and you can just stretch that out stretch this out this way as well stretches out and what you do is you flip this down flip that in and that goes into that hole there and the other side as well obviously it doesn't go on the top because that's for this one so if you're ever confused that's how you work it out okay so that just clips in like so and then this would then fold in and these two would tab into those two or those two egg holes there that tabs in and that's that done there now for the legs um, you can go ahead close this and close that you do need to open this up first um, same with the other side um, with the generation toys this, this side here doesn't clip in very well on my one um, that opens up so you can then pull that leg back out um, I guess before you do that you probably want to roll this around so you can open that up same this side so I guess you flip this around first so you can lift that leg up all the way just flip that out and then this rolls all the way in like so and I just pop the ball joint off you know it's the first time I've ever popped the ball joint off this this just fold that up fold that back in like so um, and the same deal flip that all the way around and once that's done you can put that back on so, same, thing, same thing flip that back in clip that back down and you want to now close this here that tab goes into here same as the other side that tab goes into that gap there and now you can rotate these around just know that you can't rotate it this way that hits the wheel so you just rotate that around same with this side here rotate that around and fix that up a little bit there and there you have almost tuck them in like so um flip that oops I just put like this arm and go back in flip that down ready for the combine mode so that's pretty much it for the hip area and of course if you're after where to store his weapon so his weapons normally like this so you just twist this around um, and you just plug it into the back of one of these ports there and that's his weapon storage and there he is Let's stand a bit off that in his 
buy mode. There you go. He's um, looking pretty good for now. Let's put MP44 right in front of them all. Oh, we're pretty excited. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get a shot for everyone in. This is going to get harder and harder. So he's a big boy. So here we are. Very difficult to get them all in. So, yeah, shaping up well. And um, that's it for the combined mode. So, final thoughts on uh, Jin Bao's KO upscaled long haul. He is a very good figure. They've definitely fixed a lot of the minor gripes I had with the Generation Toys version. The transformation is definitely a lot easier. Um, Obviously certain joints are a lot tighter because they need to be to be able to deal with the additional weight of Devastator mode um, because the legs are, you know, the hip, hip sort of hip thigh joints here um, is a dual purpose joint so obviously it's going to be very tight so that you don't have a floppy Devastator. Um, same, same issue as the one on my one, that's a floppy, exactly the same side as well. It's funny that because this side is absolutely fine like my version as well so it's obviously um, yeah something on this side that's just a little bit in regards to tolerances not quite there but outside of that it's very good they fixed up a lot of the other minor gripes like I said um, a lot of things have done really well with it so um, yeah definitely definitely great buy so highly recommended um, and as I said earlier in the video links in the description below for the previous Mix Master review and the Scrapper review. Um, as we get further along, at the end I'll have a fully combined mode Devastator and we'll have a look at that as well. Um, click like if you like the video, um, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And uh, thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.